guys and welcome back to my channel it's been a little while hasn't it it's been some time but i'm here i finally got my new camera i'm officially an instagram a youtuber like i'm filming on a canon g7x and i feel jazzy for it i feel rich like don't mind me i'm legit so i'm back we are ready to film some great videos we're going to bring you some quality content finally because the sound should be better the quality of the picture should be better let me know what you guys think but we're g7x's now <laughs> are you good i hope you're all good i haven't seen you in quite some time so today we are going to talk about the word money mm. we're going to talk about them greens we're going to talk about dollars we're going to talk about pounds we're going to talk about euros we're going to talk about money now this is something that people don't talk about people don't want to hi excuse me i'm broke hi excuse me i'm rich do you know what i mean we just don't talk about it enough because it's something that we all want we might have a lot of we might not have any of we might have some of I've just broken my t-shirt so clearly I'm broke. I feel like we just don't talk about enough and we all have it whether it's a lot, whether it's a little bit, whether we work hard for it or whether we're just fortunate enough to have it. We've all got money or we all need money in some way, shape or form. So I thought I'd film a video today for you Hans and let you all know um, how I make my money, what I do on a daily basis, um, where I work, maybe some tips I have on starting your own business, that kind of thing. First things first, I'm broke. Like 24-7 broke. I in no way shape or form class myself as being wealthy, being well off, even being comfortable. Like I would put myself at like, like we're getting by we're just we're just cruising we're cruising at like could be homeless but thank god we got parents kind of money first of all i work in an office in my hometown now a lot of you message me like wow you're doing your own thing like 100 percent of the time no i wish i was but i'm not and it's not really that easy and it's not going to happen that quickly no so i work in an office in my hometown and we sell private registration plates for them vehicles so if you see someone bougie, all the rich people driving around with their private regs on, they might have got it from me. And if you don't, ring me up. It's not a career, but it's a nice job. I enjoy what I do and I have fun and I work with fun people, so thumbs up for Ames. I do not get paid enough. I get paid a decent wage, but I do not get paid enough to fund my bougie little lifestyle. Like, I try to act like I can afford all this stuff, and like I've got my life together. How I can't even drive yet. Alongside that, we have to have, as Patricia Bright says, side hustles to fund the bougie, you know? To get that green, to get the coin, to make it rain on my broke little life. So, I've got two brands. They are called Never Naked, which is a clothing line where I make all the clothes myself. There's just a couple of pieces at the moment. It's very, very small. Only recently started. Haven't really told anyone about it yet. Never Naked. And then I have a jewellery brand called A-List London. Um, and that's all like um, crystals, like man-made diamonds, that kind of thing. Really cute. Some are handmade pieces by myself and some are pieces that I get from a designer. The main question I get asked about like starting a business is like where do you start? Where do you even begin? You just come out of school, you just come out of college, you just come out of whatever. Where do you begin? go with what you know like start with a a, an, a path with something that you already know what to do like if you can take good pictures start taking pictures make an instagram account it's literally that easy start taking people's pictures post them on an instagram account and then be like you got a wedding coming up let me take your pictures 50 quid please if you can sew like me like my mum then why don't you start doing alterations why don't you start making a couple of your own clothes wear them out people will see them people will ask you about it if you can, I don't know, if you're, what else could you be? If you know how to play an instrument, why don't you teach it? Why don't you teach kids how to play that instrument, guitar, piano, whatever? Go with a skill that you already know what to do and that you are potentially passionate about and you are going to fly ten times more than you would if you were just in a normal nine-to-five job, if you were just in a boring job. Like, I'm quite a creative person and I get bored if I'm doing the same thing like day in and day out. So for me, having something to do like little projects with my brands is something that keeps me going, keeps me entertained, if you will. And like, it gives me something to like, 
focus this crazy energy on you know so go with what you know use the people around you like say to your friends hey let me cut your hair for free post a little picture of it on instagram and then let me use those pictures and tell people i can cut hair because if you can't not fake it into cutting hair but well you know like if you can cut hair if you're doing hairdressing at college and you're thinking uh i'm working at a salon but we're sweeping out here and i'm not getting enough job go and do it yourself you you can actually do it yourself it's so easy to start something up yourself if you already know the skills if you already have those skills if you're good at social media why don't you contact someone and be their social media manager like i've done social media managing for a local makeup artist and i run her instagram for a little while and she was paying me to run her instagram like it was so much fun to get paid for doing something you like if in future what i'm doing isn't working out for me i've actually had this experience of trying new things and trying different things and i could actually probably collate a portfolio together as these things that i could go hey i can i can manage your social media it's something that you can actually like build one day yourself because it's all well and good like don't get me wrong being in that nine to five job is is great it's a, a brilliant thing to have a secure job but one day that might fall through like you never know what's going to happen and it's so important for me personally because i'm a creative person to have a skill as such that i could fall back on everyone's always going to have an opinion like sally down the road is going to have an opinion jeremiah from the pub is going to have an opinion michael the dustbin man is going to have an opinion learn not to care as easy as it is to say um it's actually so 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 true like i first started my first clothing line when i was in college and i called it what fashion because my name's amy watling Duh. and it failed i then started a clothing line with chella most of you will know chella if you don't my best is chella we started a clothing line called ald amy lauren designs and it blew then i started a-list london and now i'm also doing never naked alongside a-list london a lot of people have told me it failed it failed are oh, you upset that it didn't work you're upset that it fell flat on its head you're upset that it's a failure that you put your money into it yeah i am don't get me wrong i would have loved for them to have worked i would have loved for them to have taken off and for me to still be doing that and be able to do that full time that's literally all i want to do but at the same time if i hadn't have gone through each and every like fall i wouldn't be where i am today and i would never have learned the stuff i've learned now a lot of people will say oh god amy she's starting another thing up oh she's in she's doing instagram she's doing youtube she's got never naked she's got um a-list london she's got a travel blog okay but that's five different things that if i ever lose my job i can fall back on that's five different things that i'm putting my time my money and my energy into to me it's not a failure to be doing more than one thing that's actually me bettering myself and trying to build up my empire like one by one whether that takes years whether that takes days whether that takes weeks don't ever feel like a failure because something you've started to do didn't work out the way you wanted it or didn't work out the way everyone else thinks it should have gone. ALD was a bust because the clothing wasn't at a quality level. Now I'm doing something where all the items are handmade. Yeah, it's taking me longer to get there, but I learned that the hard way. Don't be afraid to ask people for help. Like um, one of my friends, Abby Roots, she's a photographer. Jordan's brother's girlfriend, so another one of my friends, Charlotte, she's a photographer. And I will definitely be using those two to help me get Instagram shots, to like better my Instagram content. I will be using them for advice and to help me get pictures. Use this the wrong word. I'll be collabing with them to get content for my brands and for me as a brand, for Ames What um and i think it's very important to realize that there's no shame in asking for help there's no shame in um giving your services free at the beginning to gain that reputation of do you know what she's good at cutting hair do you know what tracy knows how to play the trombone or no one washes a car like dante do you know what i mean like there is no shame in that whatsoever so you just have to keep pushing you've got to have that drive to go out there and get something that you really want to do and that you know you're good at because at the end of the day you can make money literally from being you like it it sounds so silly to say so the office job i have been there for about two years now before that i worked in outfit which is like retail i was doing that for about three years and then i went on from retail to an office job because i wanted more time for me and for you guys 
and to do more things and my own things alongside um so yeah i'm getting the same money now working part-time at the office as i was working full-time and like crazy not fun hours in retail so you just have to find a job that suits you and that allows you to do all these other things alongside of it because i know if i was still in retail there is no way i'd be doing any of these side things uh, alongside it because i your girl would be dead i i'd be dead another way i find really really helps with a promoting my brands and b to actually earn a little bit extra money is social media now there's a lot of is it worth doing there's so many girls out there doing that i'm an influencer a lot of like ag over this kind of thing and don't get me wrong i only have a small following like i'm no 10k i'm no four five k whatever like she's small but at the same time it's slowly growing and as my instagram and my youtube and all my social media is slowly growing so are my brands and that really helps to sort of balance it out like it does help having a following um so that's fun i don't get paid for any of my youtube videos at all i do youtube off my own back because i think it's fun because i enjoy it because i get bored easily so i want something to do like talk to you i don't have any real friends so we'll talk to you i generally work on like a gifted basis a brand will approach me or i'll approach a brand hey we like your content hey i like your products um and we'll work together on a collab which is where i will post a picture in exchange for an item um or i'll add it include it in my video or i'll be wearing it something like that um and that's really fun because a i get free clothes and b they get free content so it works in both favors i hope i've inspired or influenced at least one of you guys to go out there and to do whatever it is that you've been thinking about doing that you thought mm, i don't know if i want to do it just do it literally nike it go do it because you honestly won't regret it it's going to be hard work but mm, just go do it because it's so much fun when you're doing what you want to be doing and Oh, I just honestly can't tell you like how much fun it is like when you are getting paid to do something that you genuinely seriously enjoy and you have created like from your heart like whatever that might be like just go and do it and if you're not doing that go spread some love with anyone else who you know who is doing it because trust me it's really hard and it's really scary to do something where everyone you know is looking at you like because you have to learn on your own no one's going to show you how to do it for you and you learn whilst doing it so thank you so so much for watching i genuinely appreciate every single one of you that is here every time i upload a video i promise you i'm going to be more consistent now as in like five weeks time we're going to florida and you're all coming with me so i can't wait for that um i've got another video coming for you wednesday so keep an eye out for that one and i love you so so much i will see you next time bye